Hello everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light, welcoming you to Bambi's first year. You know, when I began to create the paintings for my Disney Dreams collection, I knew it would be an epic undertaking. I mean, think of it, 12 paintings commemorating the 12 best loved Disney classic animated features. My paintings began with my tribute to the first of the Disney classic animated features, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Following Snow White, I tributized Pinocchio, my personal favorite of the early features. Following Pinocchio, I took flight with Peter Pan and his wonderful flight to Neverland. Following Peter Pan, I set my sights on Cinderella, one of the most beloved of the princess movies. And now we come to number five in the collection, perhaps the best loved Disney animal character of them all, Bambi. The classic story of Bambi by Felix Salton creates a natural paradise. It is a story filled with the images of the seasons. We see the world of spring, the world of Bambi's youth. Beyond the world of spring, we see the world of summer as symbolized by the rains and lightning storm that is upon the mountains. Beyond the world of summer, we see the rising mountain cloaked with snow, suggesting the world of winter. In fact, I would bet that for many people, a favorite scene in the movie is that wonderful scene where Bambi and Thumper go frolicking in the winter wonderland and slide out on the ice of the frozen pond. The autumn foliage that surrounds the young adult Bambi suggests that a transition has come in the forest. The prince of the forest, the old stag, will step aside as the young generation reaches the day of their empowerment. Of course, in my mind, the theme of Bambi is the theme of love. Think about it. You have the love that a mother feels for her son. You have the love between a father and son. In this case, between Bambi and his father, the prince of the forest, the great stag. You have the love and playfulness amongst friends as symbolized by Bambi and the other animals of the forest. And mostly you have the love between the male and female of each species. Of course, this is one of the wonderful scenes in Bambi where the old owl is frustrated as each of the young animals finds its mate and fall in love and wander off together. Of course, the owl is frustrated by all this and says, there they go, they're twitter-pated. Symbolizing the theme of love that flows through Bambi, we see several hidden hearts, in fact, five hidden hearts in the painting, suggestive uh, that Bambi is number five in the Disney Dreams collection. We see the heart in the lightning that arcs behind the eagle. We see one in the foliage of the trees. We see one carved on the trunk of the tree. Along with the hidden hearts, we also see the element of hidden Mickeys, those wonderful silhouetted mouse ears that have become a featured attraction in so many Disney theme parks and movies. See if you can find five hidden Mickeys. Keeping with that theme of five hidden elements, see if you can also find five hidden ends, tributes to my wife Nanette, my partner in life and in art. Of course, as with all my Disney Dreams collection paintings, I am seeking to create what I like to call a narrative panorama. In other words, I am not portraying an image of a single scene from the movie, but I am taking all the scenes from the movie. This is a way in which I can tell the entire story of Bambi in a single moment frozen in time. Bambi is standing on a ridge. He sees the entire year spread out before him. And to suggest that somewhat symbolic visionary scene, I use the element of a rainbow rising from the mists uh, of the waterfall to suggest that perhaps Bambi is on a ridge overlooking a scene that might be simply a vision in his own heart. In Bambi, that symbol of life itself, the surging vitality of nature, uh, is represented oftentimes by waterfalls. 
the ever-flowing dynamic of life itself. I enjoyed suggesting the continuum of time and the flow of the seasons and the flow of life, but I also enjoyed suggesting that in my painting at least, the perfect balance of nature is frozen in time. I used many transitional floating elements such as the butterflies and of course the leaves of autumn that blow from the trees and swirl about us as we see them captured as though hanging on a breath of air. Of course the real stars of any Disney movie are the characters themselves. Starting with the young Bambi who is aglow with the afternoon light, we see Thumper beside him, the humorous rabbit whose energy and enthusiasm is contagious. The charming and shy character of Flower, the wonderful little skunk, is seen right before Bambi. And in the distance, to the left of Bambi, we see Feline and her mother. Of course, Feline is Bambi's first love. I created the small pond below the young Bambi to give me a chance to include the wonderful water animals. We see otter peeping out of the flowing stream. Of course, including our favorite duckling who dips his toe very hesitantly into the icy waters of the stream. Swirling over Bambi's head are blue jays and the other birds of the forest, again creating a sense of motion and of a moment frozen in time. The other major grouping of animals is to the right of the composition. We see the possum hanging upside down, a wonderful whimsical touch in the movie. And of course, squirrel and chipmunk gaze at the mature Bambi. We see a mother quail with her babies and a mole, and of course, several raccoon that look upon the scene with great curiosity. As with all my Disney Dreams paintings, I include what I refer to as Disney visitors. These Disney visitors are references to the earlier paintings in the collection. We start with Snow White, and for the Snow White tribute, choosing a turtle that is featured in a couple transitional shots in the Snow White movie. For the tribute to Pinocchio, I had even more fun, because one of my favorite characters in the entire Pinocchio movie is Cleo, the goldfish. Here we see her in the foreground in that same pond, but slightly below the surface. In tribute to Peter Pan, of course, I had to include the element of Tinkerbell. She has become a symbol of the magic of Disney. Lastly, in tribute to my Cinderella painting, I included one of the charming, whimsical little mice that figure so prominently in the Cinderella story. The theme of motherhood is so evident in Bambi as you see the nurturing element of Bambi's mother who cares for and provides for her son teaching him in the ways of the forest. To suggest this deep connection between mother and offspring that is the foundation of life in the forest, I included a hidden element of Bambi's mother on the face of the glowing distant mountain. See if you can find it. As we dim the lights on the painting, we see a radiant glow begin to envelop the distant mountain the waterfalls seem to swirl and cascade, and it's as though the mist is rising as the effects of light change. As the light illuminates this glowing world of unspoiled nature, we are reminded that for us, as for Bambi, there comes that great moment of empowerment. This is the real theme of Bambi, and perhaps why Bambi is amongst the most beloved of all the Disney movies and continues to inspire people even today. If you, like Bambi, dream of beginning anew in life and seeing your dreams come true, then perhaps you too can stand on the edge of the forest and look out over the vast world of your possibilities. This is Thomas Kincaid. God bless you and thanks for sharing the light.